In abstract algebra, an algebraically closed field F contains a root for every non-constant polynomial in F, X. The ring of polynomials in the variable X with coefficients in F. Examples As an example, the field of real numbers is not algebraically closed, because the polynomial equation X2 plus 1 equals 0 has no solution in real numbers. Even though all its coefficients are real, the same argument proves that no subfield of the real field is algebraically closed. In particular, the field of rational numbers is not algebraically closed. Also, no finite field F is algebraically closed, because if A1, A2, and are the elements of F, then the polynomial plus 1 has no zero in F. By contrast, the fundamental theorem of algebra states that the field of complex numbers is algebraically closed. Another example of an algebraically closed field is the field of algebraic numbers. Equivalent properties Given a field F, the assertion F is algebraically closed is equivalent to other assertions. The only irreducible polynomials are those of degree 1. The field F is algebraically closed if and only if the only irreducible polynomials in the polynomial ring F, X, are those of degree 1. The assertion, the polynomials of degree 1 are irreducible, is trivially true for any field. If F is algebraically closed and P is an irreducible polynomial of F, X, then it has some rooter and therefore P is a multiple of X minus A. Since P is irreducible, this means that P equals K, for some K F, 0. On the other hand, if F is not algebraically closed, then there is some non-constant polynomial P in F, X, without roots in F. Let Q be some irreducible factor of P. Since P has no roots in F, Q also has no roots in F. Therefore, Q has degree greater than 1, since every first degree polynomial has one root in F. Every polynomial is a product of first degree polynomials. The field F is algebraically closed if and only if every polynomial P of degree N1, with coefficients in F, splits into linear factors. In other words, there are elements k, x1, x2, xn of the field f such that p equals k. If f has this property, then clearly every non-constant polynomial in f, x, has some root in f. In other words, f is algebraically closed. On the other hand, that the property stated here holds for f if f is algebraically closed follows from the previous property together with the fact that, for any field k, any polynomial in k, x, can be written as a product of irreducible polynomials. Polynomials of prime degree have roots j. Shipman showed in 2007 that if every polynomial of f of prime degree has a root in f, then every non-constant polynomial has a root in f. Thus f is algebraically closed. The field has no proper algebraic extension. The field f is algebraically closed if and only if it has no proper algebraic extension. If f has no proper algebraic extension, let p be some irreducible polynomial in f, x. Then the quotient of f, x, modulo the ideal generated by p, is an algebraic extension of f whose degree is equal to the degree of p. Since it is not a proper extension, its degree is 1 and therefore the degree of p is 1. On the other hand, if f has some proper algebraic extension k, then the minimal polynomial of an element in k, f is irreducible and its degree is greater than 1. The field has no proper finite extension. The field f is algebraically closed if and only if it has no finite algebraic extension because if, within the previous proof, the word algebraic is replaced by the word finite, then the proof is still valid. Every endomorphism of fn has some eigenvector. The field f is algebraically closed if and only if for each natural number n. Every linear map from Fn into itself has some eigenvector. An endomorphism of Fn has an eigenvector if and only if its characteristic polynomial has some root. 
Therefore, when f is algebraically closed, every endomorphism of fn has some eigenvector. On the other hand, if every endomorphism of fn has an eigenvector, let p be an element of f x. Dividing by its leading coefficient, we get another polynomial q which has roots if and only if p has roots. But if q equals xn plus and minus 1 xn minus 1 plus plus a0, then q is the characteristic polynomial of the companion matrix decomposition of rational expressions. The field f is algebraically closed if and only if every rational function in one variable x with coefficients in f, can be written as the sum of a polynomial function with rational functions of the form a n, where n is a natural number, and a and b her elements of f. If f is algebraically closed then, since the irreducible polynomials in f x are all of degree 1, the property stated above holds by the theorem on partial fraction decomposition. On the other hand, suppose that the property stated above holds for the field f, let p be an irreducible element in f, x, then the rational function 1, p can be written as the sum of a polynomial function q with rational functions of the form a, n. Since p is irreducible, it must divide this product and, therefore, it must also be a first-degree polynomial. Relatively prime polynomials and roots for any field f, if two polynomials p, q, f, x, are relatively prime then they do not have a common root. For if a f was a common root, then p and q would both be multiples of x minus a and therefore they would not be relatively prime. The fields for which the reverse implication holds are precisely the algebraically closed fields. If the field f is algebraically closed, let p and q be two polynomials which are not relatively prime and let r be their greatest common divisor. Then, since r is not constant, it will have some root a, which will be then a common root of p and q. If f is not algebraically closed, let p be a polynomial whose degree is at least one without roots. Then p and p are not relatively prime, but they have no common roots. Other properties. If f is an algebraically closed field and n is a natural number, then f contains all nth roots of unity, because these are the n zeros of the polynomial xn minus 1, a field extension that is contained in an extension generated by the roots of unity as a cyclotomic extension, and the extension of a field generated by all roots of unity is sometimes called its cyclotomic closure. Thus algebraically closed fields are cyclotomically closed. The converse is not true. Even assuming that every polynomial of the form xn minus a splits into linear factors is not enough to assure that the field is algebraically closed. If a proposition which can be expressed in the language of first-order logic is true for an algebraically closed field, then it is true for every algebraically closed field with the same characteristic. Furthermore, if such a proposition is valid for an algebraically closed field with characteristic zero, then not only is it valid for all other algebraically closed fields with characteristic zero, but there is some natural number and such that the proposition is valid for every algebraically closed field with characteristic p when p greater than n. Every field f has some extension which is algebraically closed. Among all such extensions there is one and only one which is an algebraic extension of f, it is called the algebraic closure of f. The theory of algebraically closed fields has quantifier elimination.